honeybee, the most ingenious insect known to humankind. Their intricately organized society has fascinated scientists, philosophers and artists since ancient times. But I have to be honest, it's the honey which gets me going. I love honey so much, I always have. I'm Martha Carney. During the week, I work as a journalist and presenter, but at the weekend, I keep bees. Look at that, fantastic. It's been a hobby, well, a passion for years, but I've never had any training and I'm definitely no expert. Is that the Queen? There's the Queen. I spotted her! I've never done that. This year, I'm going to find out as much as I can about the art, culture and science of beekeeping and try to produce my own wildflower honey for the very first time. Over the past 20 years, wild honeybees have become very rare in the UK. And even managed colonies like mine have halved in number. But beekeepers are having more and more success in cities. Hives are turning up on all the best roofs. Fortnum and Masons, the Athenaeum, the Royal Festival Hall. Even in schools. A Charlton Manor school in south-east London, Gardner Nick Shelley is running an after-school beekeeping club. Without a doubt, if you leave a hole, a bee will find it, OK? Look, we're in the middle of south-east London, you know, where it's a very urban environment and Charlton Manor School has created a little bit of nature. Right. Everyone ready? Because they, they will come okay. out. Everyone OK? Yep. Yes. Anyone wants to have a go, you're more than welcome. Mm -hmm. okay. so We've got I lots just... of volunteers. So who's lifting that one out? Okay. Yeah? Do come on then. Just be careful you, you keep hold of it. Okay. Right. Mm. So does that feel heavy or not? No, no, not really. I'll just put my hands under there. Everyone's still comfortable? I found the queen. There's a queen. Ah, right there. Oh, there she oh, is. Well spotted. So she is marked. Oh, uh, yes, she is. We've got uh, a red, red mark on her. She's big. So, all seen the queen? Yeah. Yeah? Happy? So, yeah, Happy that she's the bigger one. Very fascinating. The kids are certainly enjoying beekeeping. But what is the secret of the urban bee's success? Nick and the beekeeping club are going to the garden at neighbouring Charlton House to find out. Right, what about um, the blue bush over there? Many flowers rely on bees to reproduce. Would you see it with, with its, its proboscis yeah. in, the, in the flower? They use the lure of a sugary liquid nectar, which the bees gather to make honey. Is that broccoli? You call it a broccoli tree. OK, let's call it the broccoli tree. In return, the bees pick up grains of pollen from one flower, which rub off on the next they visit, and yeah. fertilise it. Which plant do you think the bees like the most out of all of the ones we've been looking at. Most of the bees like the Cyanthus, Wisteria and the Geranium. 